I will just give a brief update of what happened uh, with the Python tools, where we are, and what will be coming next. Um, first, a uh, um, brief overview. Um, it's um, actively developed by the XPX community, and it um, just recently was um, released in version 0.8.1, which was a, a patch release which improved performance and fixed some bugs. And before that, um, 0 0.8 brought a huge refactoring and um, made it ready for SPX3. Um, it currently supports, um, in its latest version, SPX 2.2 and 2.3, and earlier releases um, also support older versions of SPDX, if you need that. And um, it has an um, experimental implementation of the um, 3.0 RC1 um, state of the model, so it can be used to play around with um, SPDX3. And um, it can um, generate files, and um, I think that's the current, that are the current capabilities. Um, despite its name as tools, it's um, also a library, or it's um, maybe the most useful as a library if you want to build your own um, uh, if you want to give your own application um, SPDX generation support, and um, I think that's the um, fastest path if you are already using Python to use the um, Python tools um, to get um, support for that. But it also comes with some standalone applications that can be used for um, validation of files and conversion between formats and conversion between versions of SPDX. So that's the high level, um, what is, what are the Python tools? Um, what are the next steps after this huge refactoring, after, the, um, after this move? Um, I think the um, one plan is to um, now tell more projects, hey, you can use uh, the Python tools. They are now more mature than before. They um, are um, rather complete. And at the same time, we, we are focusing on stabilizing and performance. So there are right now um, a few minor bugs open that are actively um, worked on to get fixed. And we will soon have a release 0.8.2 that um, hopefully resolves most of them. And um, so that's the main goal. But we are interested in getting feedback. Is, is that what you expected? Does that solve your issue? Or what other um, features would you need to have so, um, so that you can use these, um, this library, these tools? Um, Maybe a little bit misplaced, but in the end there will be links with how to contact, where to reach out, where to um, where to give that feedback. But yeah, please, um, if you have uh, feedback, give that to, to us so that we can improve and um, direct the um, development towards your needs. Um, on the other side, maybe um, more interesting, what are the next steps with... Um, looking at SPX3, which is very, very interesting uh, for most of us here, probably. Um, the Python tools already come with a functionality that can convert um, SPX2 to um, 3. So there, there is a um, Gary-defined um, uh, way how to convert that, and that is implemented in the Python tools, so you can use them to lift your um, current use cases to SPX3 and see how they would look like. Um, there is um, a draft open that um, moves the implementation to, towards being generated out of the model. I think, um, Gary, you will also talk about something similar for the Java tools. But um, that um, helps to guarantee that the implementation is in line and up to date with the model development. And um, there are some features still missing to be complete and usable. So um, parsing of uh, JSON-LD, parsing and generation of other formats is still on the roadmap. And the goal is to um, have that so seamless, uh, uh, in a seamless way integrated so that if you already use the Python tools and use them for generating SPDX 2.3, you can with a very less 
uh, with, with not a lot of effort, um, support SPX3 additionally. So that's the goal. And that's the promised site with links and resources. Um, we have a repository, we, uh, we have a latest release, we um, have a few guides. The, um, there's a um, quick start guide and the how to use guide that is also linked from the new um, homepage. Um, there is um, a guide how to um, update if you still have an old version. We have a bi-weekly community call. There are no coordinates for that on the slides, but um, I will find a way to broadcast them. And announcements like releases are usually um, broadcasted via the SPDX tech mailing list. So if you are subscribed to that, you will um, get notified. And that was very short and fast and is the update regarding Python tools. As understood, questions in the end. So Gary, you're next. <laughs>